that um, actually we're going to be speaking a language that's completely universal today. And this is the language of our sensations, the language of our body. And really what I've discovered, uh, my role as facilitator and a so-called translator of this language of sensation is, is not about teaching you a new language or about teaching you anything that you don't already know, but it's about reminding you of this innate dialogue that is happening and to bring what may be unconscious into awareness. So making what you're not aware of more aware. And the alphabet, the, the, the language, the safa of this dialogue is sensation, what we feel. And the truth of it is, is that for each of us going through this experience, we're going to have a very different reaction. And that reaction is going to change every moment. I, I don't know about how you might be feeling, but for me, within an hour, I have so many different emotions, so many different thoughts, so many different sensations. And the one thing that we are able to be certain of is that these sensations pass. They have a specific characteristic. They arise and then they pass away. They arise and they pass away. So this impermanence of sensation is really what helps us to speak this language in a place of izun, in a place of balance. Because we, when we can learn to just let the rise of this sensation or emotion come and the passing of the sensation or emotion go without holding on to it, but just giving it space, then the body's natural capacity to discharge the stress, the trauma, everything that we're feeling is, is made more fluid, like water. So today... I'm going to invite you into discovering how you can feel with openness, with curiosity, with non-judgment, with acceptance of what is. Because we can't change what is, but we can observe with izun. In, it's actually the word in Hebrew is izun nefesh. In English, it's equanimity. Izun nefesh means the balance within ourselves to observe these different emotions, whether they are desirable emotions or whether they are emotions we do not want to feel. And for me today, going through this experience, experiencing the reality as it is, is not easy. It's not easy for anyone doesn't matter where you are in the world. This is a time of enormous, enormous pain and suffering. And to just allow that, to let the body naturally discharge that is what we are here to do today together. We're not going to activate it. We're not going to try and look for it. We're going to meet this language, speak to our sensations here and now as they express themselves. Mostly, and in different ways, we've been taught that to be strong means to handle things. I don't know if any of you have had that, where you feel like you, I know I was taught that to be strong meant I wasn't feeling this. Or I couldn't be sad. I could only be happy. Mm -hmm. And today we're giving permission for everything to be felt as it is. For the body to speak its truth because this body tells the truth. It cannot lie. This does the lying. This does the changing. But this is the, the barometer of truth for all of us. How we feel is the truth. It changes every moment, but it is the truth in the moment. 
And in Hebrew, lehirage, lehiraga, to be calm is to be betocharega, is to be inside of the moment. And this moment, no matter what it is, when we can meet it with izun nefesh, when we can meet it with equanimity and allow it, then it's just staying sensation by sensation, feeling by feeling. And the body's natural capacity is to discharge those feelings. In our session now, that will start in the next couple of minutes, I, I, I really want to invite you to move as freely as you want. I'll give you some guidelines and I'll invite you to feel and move in certain ways if, if that feels for you appropriate. And if it feels appropriate for you to lie down, listen to that. Learning to have autonomy with our body, especially when we practice yoga. And I don't know how many of you are yoga practitioners and if you're students through Maya's community, but mostly in yoga classes, we're told what to do, right? We're told, inhale your arms up, take five breaths or whatever it is. Today, for the next 22 minutes, I'm inviting you into an autonomy. You are in control of your body. You are in control of your sensations. No matter what is happening around you, when you can connect to that and touch in and tap into the fact that nothing, even internally, even if something external is happening, you have autonomy over your own internal experience. And so today in these sessions with me, please just listen to your body, listen to your sensations. You wanna move, move, you wanna lie, lie. You wanna sit on the couch or stand or be on a yoga mat. Listen to what you feel for these next moments. Ordinarily, when I teach, I use music. And in this last six day period, I, I have not been able to listen to music and it feels for me that music is not appropriate. So I'm gonna invite for those of you that feel the need to have an external support to use your breath as your music today, to use your breath as your mantra today. And some of these tools that I'm going to do with you today are, are tools to self-regulate. When you're having big emotions, big feelings, there are ways to basically learn how to discharge within the moment these very big emotions. And this first particular exercise is something that's very grounding. So find a seat. Lie down, choose a position that feels comfortable for you. I take one hand and I place it on my chest and I take the other hand and I place it on my belly. And then perhaps just lengthening the spine to just arrive now in your body. Arriving in your body simply means feeling the hands against your chest and your belly. Feel the contact of your body with its surface. And if it feels appropriate for you, close your eyes. If you prefer, you can keep your eyes open. Just stay attentive to the sensation of your body. Feel what is here. Welcoming what is here. And then bringing the awareness to the crown of your head, to the kete shelarosh, the very top of your head. and gently scanning the body from the crown of the head down through your face, your shoulders, your arms, and your torso. 
the front of the body, the back of the body, the hips and the legs. And then allowing the breath to naturally deepen now. And notice how the nishima is the geshe, the bridge, or the nishama. The breath is the bridge to the soul. It tells you how you're feeling in any moment. Is your breath shallow? Just observe, become aware. Is the breath quick? Does it indicate anxiety? Does the breath show you anger that may be here, sadness that may be here? Begin to cross the bridge of your breath now. Geshe shala nishima lehagia le nishama. To go to your soul to feel what's here for you. And we do this by deepening the breath, inhaling through the nose. And you might want to exhale and see if you can allow the, the mouth to open, the breath to release, and a sigh to release. Let's do a few more of these, inhaling and exhaling. And then for a moment, the hand that's on your belly, perhaps bringing it onto the chest. So you've got two hands on your chest now. And without breath, we're going to inhale. And hold the breath briefly at the heart space, at the chest space. And as we exhale, release the shoulders and soften the body. Let the body soften. And then feel, feel what's here. Welcome what's here. And if something big is arising, I'm going to invite you to just cross the hands over the shoulders like this. If you're noticing a big emotion arising, just crossing the hands over the shoulders. Eyes may be open, eyes may be closed. And feel your sense of groundedness. Feel your body on the ground, on its surface. And give space to what you might be feeling right now. And then release the hands down. And we can start to just rotate the shoulders and start to give space to the joints to open for the muscles to start to speak. And we re revolve in the opposite direction, come forward or go backward. <clears throat> and then see if you can just move freely, just the shoulder area. So you can do whatever movements create a sense of mobility in any direction. And then take a moment where you come to stillness and just observe. Observe with this izun nefesh, whatever sensations, is it short yeshpo, whatever you're feeling right now. And then raising the arms to the heart of the shoulders, you're going to just inhale, cross, and exhale, open. So the movement is a spinal flex, inhaling forward and exhaling back. 
we just do a few of these movements to let these deeper sensations open, express themselves. Feel the way the body might direct you to breathe. If you're inhaling as you come forward, you may want to open your mouth as you exhale and open, release the tension that way. We can do a few more of these. And then releasing our hands down, take a moment again to pause and to feel. To give space for that natural just discharge to be. And then letting the chin drop and moving one ear to one shoulder with the head dropping back and the next ear. So we move in these neck rotations. Letting the sensations in the neck out freely. And maybe changing direction. And then as you come to center now, you might start moving the body. You can move in circles or you can move forward and back. But the movement now is through the torso, through the hip area. And the movement is free, just letting the body dialogue with you, letting the body feel. And while we haven't been given permission to feel before today, we are understanding that feeling is healing. Feeling it is healing it by letting this feeling be here, whatever it might be. Not engaging with the dialogue of what this feeling means or analyzing it. But just letting it be felt is enough. And for a moment now, we still the movement so we can feel what's here. Welcome what's here. Allow what's here to be. And then maybe coming on to all fours now, if that feels appropriate for you. And if it doesn't, you're more than welcome just to stay seated. But if it's okay for your body and your knees are finding this position all right, your knees are underneath the hips, the arms are underneath the shoulders. And the movement is a cat cow where you can inhale, look up and exhale down simply to give the nervous system a discharge now, letting the tension and the stress and the emotions in our nervous system be released. Inhale, the body concaves. Exhale, the body convexes. I'm just giving a few of these movements now. And if it's possible for you to sit back on your legs, you can. And if not, you can simply cross the feet again. And we come back to this movement with our hands. And you can drop the chin down and feel your sense of grounding, feel the sense of stability in your own body. And this is a very stabilizing pose for those of you that need to ground at any time during the day. This pose helps us to really get into the character, to get into the body, to get into a sense of connection. To the earth, a sense of safety. Releasing the hands down, I'm going to invite you to come and stand up and just feel the feet on the ground. 
<clears throat> healing your feet. You might sway from side to side. You may move freely. And for the next minute or so, the invitation is just to let the body do whatever it feels it needs to do. Make your movements intuitive. So we go out of our head and into a feeling like you're just letting your body do whatever it wants to do. Giving your body autonomy. And then again, you can come to stand. And the movement here is to inhale the arms up. And as you exhale, you can bend forward. So this is the simplest way to do this movement. I call these squats. So the easier way is just to inhale up and exhale halfway or all the way down. So just see what feels appropriate for you. Inhale up, exhale. And take a few squats. And then slowly come to stand. And as you come to stand, feel your feet on the ground. And we're going to invite a very conscious discharge of all the emotions that are here in our body right now, of all these sensations by shaking the body. So you really just start to move the body. I, I, I use it almost a, a feeling like I'm being connected to a current, an electrical current, and I let that current go up the feet, up the legs, up through the body, all the way up to the sky. Inhale up. And then welcome whatever anger might be here, whatever rage might be here. And as you exhale, you can bend forward and just let out whatever noise ha! is in your body. You're all muted, so you can do this one or two more times. Inhale, up, exhale, letting sound come out. Feeling the rage, feeling the anger, feeling what's here, the sadness, whatever might be here for you. And then exhale out. And then come back to stand. Be here. Feel what's here. Allow what's here. And then you're slowly going to come back down, finding a seat or lying down on your back. So if you feel comfortable to do this, you're going to lie on your back. But if you feel you need more to put back in the body, you can sit up. And if the eyes are open, you may close them. If the eyes are closed, you may open them. Just be very attentive to this deep listening. Become aware of your body and its surface. Become aware of the sounds around you. And slowly start to move your fingers and your toes. If you're lying down, you can find your way to sit.
And then the hands can come back to the body, hand on the chest, another hand on the belly. And we close this practice with an intention, a, an offering, a prayer for peace. May the peace that you are, may the peace that we all are, bring the deepest healing to our world in this moment. May this love that we are surround and heal all the suffering that is here. May there be peace, peace. Peace.